In this training nugget, I'm going to cover the butterfly effect that's provided within Xlights. So here we can see the butterfly effect. I'm going to drop that onto a mega tree so we can see what animation it's providing. Now this is a real popular tool, but you know, you must be careful when using it and you know, unless you want your house to look like a unicorn is, you know, thrown up all over your house. So let's have a look at what the butterfly effect provides. So the first thing to note is there is two palette options. So I'm going to go through the rainbow, but basically the choice is the rainbow is the one that's built into the effect. So, and palette will use the colors that you select on the palette up here, but we'll come to that in a moment. And not all of them work with the palette. So there'll be some of the styles that do not work with the palette. So we'll move along the styles first. And the first one is this well-recognized, you know, butterfly gradually scrolling effect. The next one is this pulse effect. And this is particularly useful if you're going to the beat of a music and be quite nice. If you can get the timing right, you can get this pulsing to the music as well. And we've got a similar one, but with more items pulsing, but again, a nice effect to pulse the music. One very similar to the first one. And another nice pulsing effect. This one, more of a slow burn here. Just some strange deep colors. And then same here. And it's just a variation on a theme as we go through these different effects. So let's go back to the start. Now these ones, background chunks, background skip, really on each of the different effects, you've got to do, just adjust them a little bit of trial and error, but it's just the part of the image that's been affected. So if we move these background chunks, you see it's affecting you know, this area and making it black in this case, you know, but you can see as we move it up, we can get different effects. But like I say, it's a little bit trial and error. And then the same with this one. On this particular style, it doesn't really do much. Speed is just as you would think. Yeah, so this is moving in this direction at that speed, and we can slow it down and make it static. Direction. Yeah, normal and reverse. And this could be nice if you're going to the beat of music as well. You can have it on one beat, you know, going in that direction. And as the beat hits, it can be flipping in direct in the direction. So you can have quite a nice beat matching animation there. So that really covers a lot of the different styles. But now let's have a look at what happens when we switch to the palette option. So you can see now I've got four colors chosen in my palette here and you can see those colors being mirrored. And obviously if you change the order of the colors in this palette, it will reflect differently in your animation. And this applies, like I say, to most of the different styles, but not all of them. But you can see here, this magenta is forming the background. And then the next part is the cyan and it goes along to the red and we see that that is the case for all of the different animations that the palette is used as well but what is quite nice is we're not just restricted to these solid colors once again we can actually replace these colors with gradients so if we turn these ones off and I've already created a few gradients so you can see I've got a gradient here going through all of these different colors. I'll enable that one. And you can see now it's just a solid color, but as we bring more gradients in, and another, you can see not only we've got an animation, we've got colors changing over time. And that's the important thing in the butterfly effect, the only gradient effect you have is the over time. So these colors are changing over this time period. You don't have the option 
of grad, you know, gradiating from left to right, top to bottom, etc. It's purely over time. So I hope you found that useful and see you next time.